evening and welcome to Wednesday Nights Live with me, Karen, in my new regular slot at 7 o'clock. I have my trusty twin with me, Simon. Hi, Karen. <laughs> and there's only me here. And it's, so Simon's going to be doing comments tonight and it's just you've got the terrible two back. So I will try and endeavour to, to answer as many comments as I can. But I do have to work the cameras. Yeah, and excuse me, he's been here all day, so he's I feeling a bit tongue tied now. So, <laughs> if, I, if I fall asleep or miss, miss something, apologies. If any question is asked that you lovely lot can answer each other, that would be really grateful if you could do that. That would be amazing. Just in yes. case we do miss a question and one of you lovely people on there can answer it, that would be superb. So, have we said hello to YouTubers tonight? Hello, YouTubers. <laughs> hello, Facebookers. <laughs> So I wanted to get that out because we always forget. Well, if you weren't in Claire Corbett's class today, the baby treat tower, you missed a fantastic day. I'm just going to move this, this, put them there. Look. Look what Claire made. I'll just turn it around to you. Lovely. Look at that. This is the treat tower. And it's... Um, it's a cone and it's filled with all these gorgeous treats. There's capsicles, there's meringues on there, there's chocolate spheres, we've got teddy bears, we've got meringue feet as well, uh, cake pops, like, like baby rattles. Just look at that tower, isn't it superb? I'm just moving it slow so you can see how full that tower mm -hmm. is. Get a little bit closer, there so we go. Then, I'm just going to do it to this side. I'm on the side. I'm on the front still. I'm just going to just move it around very gently. Look, look, that is absolutely filled, isn't it? And that was such a great class. You still can buy this class. It's available for thirty pound on the website, unless you have already purchased another treat tower class. Because if you have purchased a treat. A treat tower. I'm a bit low there, aren't I? <laughs> I'm showing the showing it. I'm reading comments. If you have purchased a treat tower class, uh, you've already purchased one, you can get at full price. So if you've paid £30 for one class, you can buy the other four treat tower classes at £15 each. That is an absolute steal. So take a look on the website. There is a full full price class there, and then there is a members class. And if you do buy the members one, we do check to make sure that you have purchased another class full price. So buy one at thirty pound, and buy the other four at fifteen pound each. Absolute steal, and you're making gorgeous things like this. I know the next treat tower class that's coming up is the Halloween one, and that is super. Uh, and next week, we've got Claire in again next Wednesday doing the first birthday cake. Um, first, the first, I can't, I'm just going to move this out of the way so you can see it. Doing the first birthday cake. And that's next Wednesday. But before next Wednesday, we have Jerry Chu in the kitchen on Monday. And Jerry is doing an absolute superb cake. It's a square cake that's a juice box. Don't need to be a juice box. You can make it into a gin box or a wine box if you wanted to. If you want to. <laughs> I'll a gin box any day. <laughs> you, get, you get boxes of gin, Catherine. Put it this way, you would with me. <laughs> so so you could so it's an absolute brilliant cake that you, you have actually drink inside it. So if you make a juice box or you do a wine box, you actually can put a straw in and the person whose party it is can actually sip the drink out of the straw. So that is an absolutely great class to look at for Monday. Right, can I just say it? The reason we can't show you the cake is because I donated it to charity. And you want to tell them that bit. <laughs> I wasn't thinking, so I donated it to charity, and that's why we've had no cake to show you. I've only got a black and white picture because our ink hasn't turned up today for our printer. So here, yeah. I mean, we have been. I know the girls have been putting it all over Instagram and all over Facebook. But look, if Sam can go down to that for me, yeah. So excuse the colours, but just to let you know, you can physically drink out yeah. of this cake. So you can pop a straw in, and you can drink your juice or your wine or whatever you want to make it in. Um, Jerry has said she's made this as a blackcurrant juice cake for the kids. You can make it as an apple one. She'll adapt it in the class. Yeah. Um, and she'll also show you how to make it into a wine box. It'd be a good bit of fun at Christmas, wouldn't it? Oh, can imagine. you imagine making it into a wine box and then at Christmas just popping your straw in 
and just said, look at this. But even if you even if you only got the family round who, who were allowed to drink, oh, give them all a straw, and all of a turn, yeah. you all just put a straw in, and you can all have a drink at it because it fits. It's a it's a lovely cake, mm. and it just it's like one of those lovely drinking cakes. So you can have a have a slurp of your drink, and then you've got gorgeous cake to eat. It's going to be an absolutely a slurp. It's going to be a brilliant class and such a fun class to do. And I think, as Carol said, even if you're doing it for children. They will love the idea. It's their birthday, it's their cake, and they can drink the juice in the box. Yeah, that's it. It's so that's another so great it's cake class. And juice. So, yeah, if you can join that with Jerry, that would be great because Jerry's done some amazing classes. Yeah. I have put the links in all in Jerry's cl- in all of Jerry's groups as well. She gives so much, Jerry does, in a class, you know, and I think you're going to absolutely love yeah, it. Yeah, it's going to be great. It seems like everybody's, well, a lot of people are complaining about Facebook. Going jumping. It's but YouTube, ju- YouTube, YouTube is working fine, so it's not us. No. It's Facebook. Yeah, I've got to be honest. It <laughs> has been jumping a lot, and I don't know what's going on. But what you can do is you nip over to YouTube, watch on YouTube, and do your comments on Facebook. Absolutely. That's the best way. A lot of people yeah. said they put it onto the main uh, in the group today. They put it onto YouTube, uh, onto the big screen, and it wasn't jumping as much on the big screen. Yeah. 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 So YouTube seems to be working fine. So. Right, I'm going to leave that with you, Karen. You're right. So today, it's all about flavour shots. I love chocolate. You know I love chocolate. I love playing with chocolate. And that is what the live is all about tonight, playing with chocolate. So we have the flavour shots and we have the whipping it up shots. The flavour shots are what you use to flavour chocolate. You cannot use whipping it up shots. These are for making your... You've got one mixed in there, Karen. Oh, that, that. I wonder where he'd gone. Excuse me. So these are for making your Swiss Brown buttercream, your macarons, your um, pavlovas, and these are for adding to 500 grams of uh, icing sugar so that you've got a small bag in the cupboard, you add it to 500 grams of icing sugar and you have to give it a shake and give it a shake for a couple of days so it all matures. If you're making buttercream or Swiss Brown buttercream you can use it straight away but this isn't part of my live tonight. This is a live. Possibly we're all doing them. I think Laura's doing lives on them, Carol's doing lives, and I'm doing lives. So whipping it up shots is not tonight. It's all about these beauties. It's all about these flavour shots. That one's empty. Carol's used it last week. This is what we do. We do. We bring them home and we use them. So we have nine flavours of flavour shots. We've got the orange zest, the coffee and the mint. We have velvet vanilla. We've got white chocolate and raspberry, lemon drizzle, salted caramel, strawberry milkshake, raspberry ripple. We've got nine across there. Now we have got a super offer on, on the website at the moment. They're 19.99 with free shipping if you buy, for free UK shipping, if you buy this nine bundle. So Sam has put it up there. But look at what it says at the bottom. Code. Now if you buy it before 7 o'clock tomorrow morning and you put Karen Griffiths live in the comments box, we'll throw you another bag in. So you will get 10 bags for the 19.99. Now isn't that... With free, a, free... With free UK shipping. And can you add other things to your order and still get free shipping? Um, That's usually the case, isn't it? Yes, but you have to... Um, for the free shipping for this, you actually have to choose click and collect. Right. Because that then brings your free shipping up. If you if you choose click and collect, that is your free shipping. But you have these nine flavours. But if you put Karen Griffiths Live, or even if you can't remember Karen Griffiths, put Karen Chocolate Live or Karen Live in the comments and you'll get an extra bag thrown in for you for free. Can't say better than that for you. And we are going to be using three of these flavours tonight because I'm going to use milk chocolate, dark chocolate and white chocolate. And it's our S&C tempered chocolate that I'm using. And that brings me on to another great buy bargain. Carol and John have done a special offer. They put it on late, late tonight. They have knocked their one kilo bags of tempered chocolate down in the white, the milk and the dark from ten ninety nine to eight ninety nine, there like is a... two pound off a bag. It's oh, that over there. 
<laughs> there it is. It's that one. If you cut, I'm looking like I keep forgetting the screen like turns round. So it is two pound off a one kilo bag. And again, this is only on offer until seven o'clock tomorrow morning because once the girls process the orders and they get printed off the computer, offer is finished. So it's only until seven o'clock. So you've got after the live tonight or. Just if you want to get two screens up now and be diddling now and get some orders in, you've got up until seven o'clock tomorrow morning to take offer of these brilliant two offers. Anyway, you're going to use the tempered chocolate. I am. And show them why, why they need a kilo of it. <laughs> I've just got my finger right there. So remember, two pound off one kilo bag of chocolate and next one. What? The old side again. The other slide. The other slide. I've got my finger there. And the flavour shots, you buy nine flavour shots for 19 99 with free UK shipping. In this live, you put Karen live, Karen Griffiths live in the comments and we will give you another bag for free. So, Sally Harrington is asking, can she add the, can you get both, essentially? You can have both orders. So can she order the, the, the flavour shots and the tempered chocolate and still get free shipping? Well, yes, because we're giving free shipping with this, so you can add so things. It's free yes, shipping. yes, it's yeah. free shipping. Of course, it is because yeah. we're giving you free shipping, so you can add other things to your basket. Because we are giving you free shipping on this bundle. Right. Yes, well, absolutely. You must, must select, click, and collect. You must select, click, and collect. And, and, and if you what say you want delivery. And if you want that free bag of flavour shot, you must put Karen Griffiths or Karen in the comment box, and right. that will give you. A free bag. If you don't put it in the box, I'm really sorry, the girls don't know, but you've watched the live and you won't get the free bag. You have to put it in the comments box. So, without further ado. On with the show. Have we got anybody who wants to say anything to us? Uh, well, I'm, I'm struggling with Facebook myself because the comments keep disappearing, so I have to reach over touch the screen to actually yes, see Yes, I know, I know. Um, so, I can't see anything that needs... Can you choose the flavour of the free bag? No. No. It is a random bag going in for you. Um, unfortunately, we don't have the, the time to... We have it not to go through all that. The lads that. can't be... No. The, the orders are going through so thick and fast that they will just pick. If, you, if, it's, if you're entitled to a free bag, they will just be putting a random bag in for you. And with these flavour shots now, with chocolate, I use between 10 and 15 grams depending on the flavour. Now, yes, the coffee and the mint, the coffee and the mint, I would definitely... Can I just... Sorry? Um, is it free postage on the chocolate? No. 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 Only if you're ordering... £40 or more. Or you're more. ordering the, the, the... Or you're ordering the, the bundle flavor of flavour shots. So, ordinarily, no, because that would... The, the postage would be quite expensive yes. on that. So we yeah. can't just... Yeah, you only get the free postage on the flavour shots, but you can add to your order. Is it free shipping to Northern Ireland? No. I don't... I think you need to contact I the think office. You, I honestly can't... I cannot um, comment on that one. I, I'm not too sure, but please contact the office, or even if you... Well, Carol might answer you. you, know, you Carol might answer in a moment, because I think she's, a, she's busy working on the computer, but she is like bobbing in and out of the live right, as well. Okay. So we will try and do that for you as well and find the answer out for you. So the mint and the coffee flavour, I definitely would stay, say you start at 10 grams and I don't think you need any more. I think the 10 grams is, is more than enough. If you want to go stronger, then add a little bit gram by gram until you feel like you've got the strength. But with mint and coffee, I think the 10 grams is, is absolutely enough. The um, she yeah. says she usually gets free shipping when other promotions are on for people. Free postage. Well, it's free UK shipping in Northern Ireland is part of the UK. Yeah, so, so yeah. that would seem so. If there was anything, any, well, if there was anything, the office would do, get in touch with we you. We do need to confirm that. Yes. So, yeah. <clears throat> These other ones, velvet vanilla, orange, white chocolate and raspberry, lemon, salted caramel and um, strawberry milkshake and raspberry ripple, I would put 12 grams in. Well, but, again, it depends on taste. Some people like a bit of a subtle taste. Some people like a bit of a stronger taste. Start at 10 and work up. If you start at 10 grams, you're not going to go wrong by putting another couple of grams in at a time and just taste it with a spoon. Now, um, just so, an idea to let you know that when the chocolate sets, you can taste the flavour a little bit more stronger, can't you, Simon? Have you tasted that? When, it's, when the flavour sets, 
it just brings a taste of, out of the chocolate a bit more than just having melted chocolate on your spoon. Yes, it is just different. Yeah, it so is. You, you, um, somebody's asking what the flavour shots are about. Right, um, I'll let you know what the flavour shots should are. Should I play the video? Would that be better to... You can play the video and then I will talk to people about it. Absolutely. Um, so, let's play that. video wasn't it good now I'm also going to tell you in layman's terms as well with these flavor shots they were originally designed to go, to be shipped abroad as the shipping costs are so extra uh, astronomical to ship things abroad like the weight of a 500 gram bag of icing sugar we decided to make our very own concentrated icing sugar now this 50 grams of icing sugar in this bag you could add to 500 grams of concentrated icing sugar uh, con uh, to icing, confectioner's plain. icing, plain icing sugar. Uh, if you're abroad, it's your confectioner's sugar. And that is what you would add. And you would uh, give the bag a shake, give it a few shakes when it's in your, uh, in your tub. And after, you would get then the full flavour of the 500 gram bag, which we sell now. So they are a space saver. So if you've only got a very little kitchen, uh, only got very little cupboard space, they're absolutely great for putting into your cupboard. And then when you want to go and buy your 500 grams of uh, confectioner sugar, icing sugar, you can buy that and then add a flavour shot to it. Now, with the, a lot of, I love them more and a lot of people love them more over here. It's for adding to our chocolate. It flavours our tempered chocolate absolutely beautiful. No more having to go out and buy flavoured chocolate. Like if you want to make your own... Um, well, we've got Terry in the in the office there, haven't we? <laughs> if you want to make your own chocolate orange, then you can actually buy. I didn't want to say that, but make your own. You can buy your SNC tempered chocolate, add your chocolate orange to it, and you have here got. She, here, here she is, is now, boys. The orange girl. Here she is. Come here a minute. What? I just said if we wanted to make Terry's chocolate, <laughs> Terry's chocolate, we would do that. Five hundred grams of chocolate. 15 grams or start at 10 grams of orange concentrated flavour shot and you could add up and you've got your very own Terry's chocolate orange. I'm not saying I'm going to pop out the bowl or anything like that but if you really wish hard. <laughs> and that is the absolute beauty of the flavour shot. It flavours your chocolate and that is what I am in love with it for. I'm actually here for yes. another notice of an amazing offer that we have on orders over £40 and under £40. Oh, wow. So I wrote it out beautifully. <laughs> so this is on all orders after 1pm today. If they hadn't already been dispatched, if they're over £40, either a medium or large bag of confetti sprinkles, or if your order's under £40, a 100 gram bag of confetti sprinkles, is going to be thrown into your order as a freebie. Oh, we are the company that just keeps giving. We have given three brilliant offers today now. So all orders after 1pm today. So don't worry if you ordered while Claire's class was on before. If your order was after 1pm and hasn't been dispatched, you're going to get a free bag of sprinkles as well. And that goes on until stocks last and is suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Absolutely brilliant. Super. So, as you, so you don't have to, I think that you know that if you order after one o'clock and the order hadn't been dispatched, you're going to get some free sprinkles. Right, can I just clarify? Linda Rutter is asking about the, the code for the free bag. You don't, the code won't, all you need to do is put that you're watching the show. In the Cameron, comments box. Let me put it down again. Let me see yeah. what it says. So, in the order note. In the order, it in the order note, so it's not a code that you need to enter. 
So put it in the order, order notes and you will get a free extra bag. Just put Karen Griffiths Live or Karen Live and you will get your free bag. You must write it in the order notes though. And they will just add it. And it will be a random flavour. We cannot choose your flavour for you. It is a random flavour. Right then. So I do need my scales. I knew I needed my scales. Um. Here we go. So I'm just going to pull me... I forgot about weighing the chocolate out there. I was too excited to get on here right. to the live. Anyway... Get on with it. I am getting on with it. So. This is what I have to deal with. No, I can't see anything. Like that. <laughs> I'm weighing out. I'm going to weigh out 500 grams of white. Um, you don't get a free bag of vegans. No. Don't no. worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. So I've got 500 grams of white chocolate there. I'm going to do you. I've got our skull moulding which Claire has shown you on a 23 at the moment and, and then it just keeps is, going up that is the best before best so before you can still yes. use them so you still can use them afterwards and you'd be probably hard pressed to tell any difference absolutely because sugar is a conservative no it's not it's no, a conservative no. <laughs> <laughs> if Claire was in now she'd be laughing her head off <laughs> It's a preservative, so it doesn't go off. It'll be absolutely fine. Just keep it nice and sealed in your cupboard, and it'll be great for when you want to use it. BWB moulds. I've got the school mould. I've got the coffin mould. Um, I've got a lovely Christmassy mould. Look at that. Can you see that there? I can. You can, I know. You I can, can, I can, don't I can know. see you it. Can, you Do can you want everyone that. else to see yeah, it? Yeah, so well. I'll turn it over there as well. <laughs> turn the back way. So you, we've got Santa... We've got um, the Christmas candle, we've got the bells with a bit of holly, and we've got the Christmas trees. So they are great. This is a polycarbonate mould, and I'm going to be doing that for you as well, in a, just in the milk chocolate, to show you how shiny the tempered chocolate comes out. And then you can decorate those, if you wanted to, with sprinkles, or you could decorate them with bits of royal icing, just to, to pipe in all the detail if you wanted to. Or use cocoa butter, cocoa butter paint. And then you could paint your chocolate as well. So you could make them all up. And these would be great uh, in little gift bags as on the tree, as little treats. So I have that. I'm going to do that. But I just wanted to show you some Halloween moulds. Now um, I'm going to do Can I just ask, answer another question about an offer? Yes. Vicky, you only need to make a comment to get the free bag. So yep. if, you, if you're ordering the flavour shops, you need to make a comment and you'll get your free bag. Yeah. If you're ordering anything else... You get, you, you'll get your free sprinkles yeah. either way. You only get a free bag of flavour shots if you're ordering the bundle of flavour shots. Yeah. Now remember, there's nine bags of flavour shots and they're 19 99 and you get your free bag if you say Karen Griffiths Live in the comments, order notes. But if you're just ordering other things, you'll it, get your free, free sprinkles, sprinkles and they'll just be added to your order yeah. without you having to say anything. And don't worry, even if you've ordered your flavour shots and your free bag, you still get your free bag of sprinkles. So you're getting two free gifts. Um, they can get this for collection on Saturday, can't they? Absolutely. You can You can also, if you want to, in your order notes, put Karen Griffiths Live and underneath it, collecting at Demo Day. Or pick up at Demo Day. Just yeah. so the girls know, they don't have to ring you to find out you know, if, you've, if you live the other side of the country why you've not collected it. So always put, just put down as well, picking up Demo Day. So we have the school moulding. We've got the coffee moulding. I'm going to do these two tonight for you. But I did want to show you a couple of the other moulds. So I'm just going to start to melt my chocolate. As always... I've got 500 grams in there, but I do say to you, melt it in 30 second blasts. Because if chocolate catches, you've spoilt the whole lot. Once one little bit of chocolate catches and goes black or burns, you've ruined your whole batch because it just taints the flavour all the way through. So always do it in uh, small bursts. I've got my, you find it, my spatula there. Now for the white chocolate, oh, decisions, decisions. I think I fancy a lemon drizzle flavour. 
because in the milk chocolate we're going salted caramel and in the dark chocolate ladies gentlemen do we do orange or mint I think orange is nice as well as it so I'll just put, leave those two out there so we're going to have the three flavours tonight going in our three lots of chocolate bring it out give it a shake a quick stir because it does start to melt from the centre and you want to make sure that nothing is captured on the bottom of that bowl put my three there so this is my lemon drizzle flavor shot no strength tonight Simon no strength really no strength shake it round again quick stir it's starting to melt very slowly but don't be in a rush and put it on for a minute or two thinking it'll be fine because it can just catch at the bottom and I said you've lost it all then so we have got our lovely lemon drizzle there now I'm going to start off as I said I'm going to start off at 10 grams and then I will taste it and then if I think it needs it I'll go I can go up to 15 grams I don't go any, go any more than that but I know I can go up to 15 grams of the lemon because then you're at your most um, your, be, your best anything else will just start going too strong but if you do like something really really strong then you can, can add can it you, can you explain the advantage of this tempered chocolate over a normal bar of chocolate that you might buy from the supermarket absolutely this tempered chocolate the SNC tempered chocolate means that once I've melted it, I can use it straight away. I don't have to start tempering it by adding cold chocolate in to, uh, to, temper it, to bring the temperature down. I can melt this and that's it. There's no more of that having to put the, uh, the, the, or the, the cold chocolate in to try and bring the temperature down and stir and stir and stir and stir. This tempered chocolate is great and you know what a snap if you don't temper chocolate properly, like if you buy the ordinary bars or you buy any other chocolate, um, you don't get the snap if you don't temper it chocolate uh, properly. You bring it out of the fridge and it will start to go soft again. With this tempered chocolate, it's melted. I can keep remelting it. I can even have it in my um, piping bag and then it goes hard in the piping bag. I can just put the piping bag back in the microwave and melt it and it's still tempered. And that is the beauty of it, that there's no more not tempering your chocolate correctly. There's no more, if you're making handbags and that, that you suddenly think the handbag's gone soft and hasn't uh, held on the side. It, it all holds because it's tempered. So I'm just giving it a stir. I can put that back in if I wanted to, to melt those few lumps there. But I don't want it to be bubbling. Can you hold the lot on this? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I don't want it to be bubbling, so I just want to make sure. And then I'm going to weigh out my 10 grams. Where did I put them? There. In fact, what I will do is I'll just get my little bowl. There it is. Get my little bowl there and I'm just going to put in 10 grams. Now that's 10 grams there, so I'm going to put this 10 grams into this chocolate and I can still re reheat this chocolate even with this flavouring. So I've got 10 grams going in there and I'm just going to give it a really good stir. Mix it all in. There we go. Mix it. I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger there. Yeah, I can taste the lemon, but that was only 10 grams, so I'm going to put a couple more grams into that. 
So we'll zero that down again. I'm only going to do two grams at a time because I could taste them in there and I know that when the chocolate sets, the lemon will come through a bit stronger. But I just want a little bit more in there. So if I just put another two grams in, there we go, another two grams. Put that into there. Give that a good stir around. Did you, did that, you put that into 500 grams have this you? is 500 grams of chocolate and I've put in up to now 12 grams of flavor shot which and that's the lemon this is the lemon one right so I'm just going to taste this again that's lovely that is absolutely lovely so I'll put that there I've got another clean one here just to clean my board I'm going to leave that other one for my finger. There we go. So that is absolutely, you can, you taste the white chocolate and then suddenly the lemon just comes through. That is really, really nice. It's not too strong. It doesn't make your cheeks go in as though you're sucking sour lemons. It's a beautiful flavour that. So we're going to make the skull mould. Now this is a BWB mould. It's the skull and it comes in three parts. You've got one part, the plastic, is the second part and then the lid is the third part if you get these molds please don't throw these plastic things out thinking they're just protectors of the mold they are your inserts you do need these each of these BWB molds has a line on it it has a fill line where you fill up to I don't know if you can see yeah there can you see that yeah you can see the fill line so that is where you will fill your chocolate up to and then that means that you're going to get a, a nice solid skull without it overflowing if you don't go to the fill line your skull doesn't fill or your, your whole mold doesn't fill as good and you'll have um, very thin edges at the top that won't mold together when you try to stick the mold together so I am just going to as you can see now look that's how quick this tempered chocolate starts to set. Have you seen that? Just yeah, look, have you seen it's that's too much, that's too gloopy to use on my mould. Now all I've got to do is put it back into the microwave, give it ten seconds, give it a stir, and away we go again. That's the beauty of this SNC tempered chocolate. I don't have to temper it at all. It's already tempered in the bag. Can I put normal icing sugar in the chocolate? No, you, it wouldn't be a strong enough flavour. No. No, this is why you do need the concentrated. So there we go, we've got a nice smooth chocolate again, which I'm going to go up to the fill line. I have to do it that way just so I can actually see. There we go, so that's gone to the fill line on that one. A little bit more. If you do, oh, just going to do a little bit more. If you do overfill the chocolate, don't worry about it because you can break the excess off really easy. It's better to break the excess off than have not enough chocolate in the mould already. So you just place them on the top, put your top lid on. See, that one's got a little bit too full there, but I have no, I've got it all nice up round there. That one's nice there. And I'm going to put it in the fridge. Like Just that. Leave it there. Let's have a look at it. It's spilling out a bit at the moment because it's. Uh, there we go. We'll just tip a bit out there. That's all you've got to do. Just tip a bit out. There you go. And now I'm going to put that in the fridge because I'm going to break those a good bit off later. I'm going to put that in the fridge now. keep tidy as we go along and then while I've got this white chocolate out let's just do a couple of I needed to do some skeletons now I've got these brilliant skeletons in now what I like to do as well is use a piping bag I 
like these are the type of bag where I'm uh, piping intricate mould and you have more control over your chocolate when it's in a piping bag than trying to pour it out or trying to spoon it out. Don't overfill your bag because you can always refill it. Bring it down, just twist the bag round and round so it's nice and tight. I'm just going to snip off the top end. I don't want to take too much off because I don't want it to absolutely pour out but I don't want it to come out like tiny so I'm just going to take off probably a quarter of a centimetre there out of the way so that's not going to go into my chocolate. There we go. And right, then... Show us the end. Show us how much you've chopped off. Not a chance. It's, well, no, it's... I mean show us the, oh. that bit, what you're doing. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Is that all right like that? So that's a, so then I've got the mould, I can gently just go in and I've got control going down the mould. And these are great if you're getting these and you're wanting to uh, give out little treats for Halloween. When I've just done this top row, I'll give it a shake to make sure that all the chocolate is in there evenly. And if it needs filling up, I can just give it a quick top up. So I'll put it like that and then just give the mould a little tap down. Like I know his feet's not done there, so there we go, a little bit more in there, a bit into his hand. I've been a bit mean with that first skeleton there. There we go. So I've got four nice skeletons there. Put that in the bowl there. So there we go. I'm going to put those into the fridge now. And we'll put this white chocolate to the side for a moment. Right. Just uh, forgot where the bowl there sat. Sorry. Here we go. I want to make sure I've got five hundred. think one one gram matters so I've got 500 grams of chocolate there I'm going to put that in the microwave to melt and we're going to use gorgeous salted caramel flavor chocolate there. so you see I can store this now like that and if I need to use it in a bit to do any drizzling I can just melt this back in the microwave again and it's absolutely fine to use Does it taste like normal chocolate? Yes. It is lovely. It tastes like it tastes like chocolate. You can't get it to taste like Cadbury's and things like that because they all have special things that they put in. But it tastes like chocolate. It's absolutely lovely. Yeah, it tastes better than Cadbury's. It's, I, I love it. I think yeah. it's absolutely lovely, and especially with our flavours now. Because I'm going to make a salted caramel chocolate now. A salted caramel chocolate coffee. What more could a girl ask for? So again, we're going to start off at. I think so. We're going to start off at ten grams. I know, Simon. You could have. You could have just done that in one form, couldn't you? Yes. <laughs> Old age with the arthritis creeping in now. So I've got my ten grams there now. Let me get my bowl out. As you can see, that's still, it's starting to melt slowly, but I can still jig it around the bowl. And once I've got this coffin in the fridge uh, to set, 
I'll then talk to you about some of the other moulds that we've got and show you them that I've already made up some chocolate and I'll just show you these as well. I might be able to make up a couple of bars for you in a bit just to show you that we could do some drizzling across it as well which would be great. So again this mould is in three parts. That's getting there. So you can see that now starting to melt. So I'll put that in for another 30 seconds. And one thing about the SNC tempered chocolate, it sets really quickly. It's great that once you, you can set it and within within half an hour, depending on the on the the, the size of the mould you've done, you can be putting it together and decorating it. When I did the piano last time, the piano again was a BWB mould, but it took um, not a BWB, it was, it was a, a polycarbonate mould, but it took a bit longer to do because it was a bigger one and it was deeper in, in the parts. And I found that that was really good. If you have bought the piano mould, leave it in the fridge overnight to thoroughly set. So, can you explain this mould to us, Karen? This one, I wouldn't. Oh, I mean, we'll I'm, just, yes, do, do I'm, I'm just trying to do my chocolate. Yeah, do you, do you do your chocolate? I don't want my chocolate to. Um, to burn. burn, no burning chocolate in this building. Can so you that's. Show, can you show us your chocolate? You can. I just want to put it back in the microwave again. As you can see, actually, it might be okay. Not sure it needs it. I want to make sure there's no lumps in there. I don't want it to be overly hot. Now it doesn't matter if you get it overly hot tempered chocolate because, as I said, it's already tempered. You're not reducing the heat, but it's not good for your fridge no. if you put in hot chocolate in take your a fridge. Bit to set, isn't it, it will. Well. So I like to get it down to where it's just melted. And I can give it a good stir now, just while I'm getting those that other chocolate buttons, just to melt down. Give them a bit of a, a pad down with the pad, with the spatula, and they're melting in the heat now. So I've got my 10 grams of salted caramel flavour shot. Putting that in there. giving this a really good stir. It does dissolve right into the chocolate. Leaves it all lovely and smooth again. So just giving it a really good stir into there. Remember, if you think it's setting too quick, just bob it back into the microwave for 10 seconds. Well, that's good. So now let's just do taste it yes it needs some more it definitely needs to have a little bit more in that so I'm actually going to put what flavour was that this one? is a salted caramel one mm -hmm. so what I'm actually going to put in there is I'm going to put another five grams so I've got the 15 grams with it because it's quite a, it's um I could taste more chocolate there than I could salted caramel. Like the lemon one came through at 10 grams but quite not enough so I only used 12 grams I'm going to put another five grams So I'll put the front, passing that up. Now remember, if you think as well after 15 grams it's not flavoured enough for you, you can put a little bit more in, but I would only go a couple of grams at a time if you were doing that, just in case you just like over flavoured it. Now I can really smell that salted caramel coming through the chocolate now. That extra five grams has worked a treat with it. As you can tell, it's still lovely and smooth. I remember what I said, that even when the chocolate sets, it does have, it brings the flavour out even more in the chocolate. Let's have a look. Yes, that extra five grams really has worked. That is a gorgeous salted caramel flavoured chocolate. So I can leave that there, because if that sets, I'll just put it back in the microwave again. Let's talk about the coffee mould. Comes in three bits. You've got your base, you've got your middle with your skeleton. Let me, let me, um, can you see that? Zoom in on that, yeah, okay. So you've got your base, yeah. 
you've got your middle with your skeleton and you've got your lid. Ah, right. So I have got one that I made, which I'm just going to show you now in the fridge. Just so you can see what I mean by when I say the middle. Oh. So you've got your base. You've got your middle bit there, which I, if I'm putting it together, which you'll see me doing it in a bit, I'm going to put it together. I'm actually going to melt those two pieces together so they stick together. Then I've got a, um, an innard of a coffin, and I'm going to put my white skeleton on there as well. And then I've got my lid. Now, because I want people to see the skeleton, I don't want to hide it, I'm actually not going to glue the lid on. It's great. It's something you could do. If you're doing it, you could do it like the lid on the side, the skeleton's escaped or you put the white skeleton in there the skeleton's in there so they can see it and I think it's a great three-part mold this is so the skeletons are, are, are dip in the chocolate the skeletons are dipping in the chocolate but that's why I've used that other skeleton mold to make a skeleton I'm gonna put him over the top uh -huh. so he's gonna he's gonna fit in there just nice so then when I put the lid on like that and you wanted to do it on top of a cake or at the side of a cake or, or as, a, as a present, then imagine that, if you're putting that in a gift bag and a child takes that off and finds a white skeleton inside, they're going to love it. Because kids love things gooey like that, don't they? Seeing the white chocolate skeletons and that. So I'm going to show you how to make this one now. And then we're going to put it together and we're going to do some dusting later. Put that one back. Again, these moulds have fill lines. They all have fill lines, but with the skeleton here, you would just fill that up completely. You have him as a solid, a solid bit because he, he rests on top of the base. Let's see where that goes to the fill line. Yep. Now it's starting to get a little bit thicker, this chocolate now, so I'm just going to... Make sure that's to the fill line. Here we go. I want to make sure that that skeleton is full at the top because I don't want him breaking. Then I'm going to put my two innards in. Should we get them right way round? I have done, there we go. And then I'm going to press that one. So I want to make sure that it's coming up so it's a nice, it's going all along this rim. That is the one thing I aim for, is to make sure the chocolate has gone all the way around that rim. Because that means that's a nice, thick rim for putting my bases on. And he's starting to set already, but I have got the chocolate. Just bear with me a second, has he started to set? Yes, would you believe, look at that. That's fine, it's okay. It's started to set, but you just want to squeeze it with your fingers. There you go. Absolutely fine now that, because that's the base where, that's the beauty of this s &C chocolate, it sets so quick, but I have now covered my lines all the way along, so I know that my middle bit will sit on that nicely, and that's all in there, and we'll put that in the fridge now. Again, I'm going to put it into the fridge that way up. Right. Now while they're being while they're nicely set in now, let's show you some of these molds. So these are our new molds in. This one is called Crystal and it's this one. So how nice is that? It just looks like, what did you call it? Raw crystals. 
yeah. like the raw crystals there and you can do it in all in one colour if you wanted to or you can do it as an ombre effect with your wonder dust colours and how nice is that one and you can see the shine that's with the wonder dust on there but I will make one so you can see the shine come out uh, without dust in it so that's the crystals one we've got put that one over there then I'll put this one in front of the camera again we've got the domino one so this is one where you make a full block of chocolate and it's dominoes so if you wanted to you could break them and you've got your three nice pieces there or you've just got the the one bar of chocolate it's completely how you want to do it that's a nice one um, where's my starburst that's this one now this is called starburst and you get can you bring it yes I it. will I'll, bring, I'll come in down like that and then down like that so there we go we've got starburst how nice is that one again they're great as blocks of chocolate you can put them in your treat boxes you can just uh, you can bag them up as part of Christmas presents do a nice Christmas present or a birthday uh, treat boxes even if you want to do Halloween and you, you, you didn't want to go like with witches or skeletons you could still make some gorgeous bars as little gifts for Halloween so that's a starburst one so I'll put that that side and then this one that I'm bringing in here is the leaf mould now it's three bars of chocolate and it's got little leaf patterns all over it and you'll see them better when I bring these in can you see the leaves on there can you see them any Simon do you want to do anything with it yeah that's perfect is that all right like that so you can just see the leaf pattern just there in the top of the chocolate it's really nice that one and again you can colour these all one colour you could leave them plain or you can just colour them with your wonder dust it's completely up to you what you do and then I've got honeycomb so I've got the honeycomb mould here and look at that how nice is that honeycomb one Again, it's twinkling look at that look at the shine on that with the wonder dust I can see it shine on the camera there really good so that's the honeycomb one I have got they're the ones I've done so I'm going to put those to one side a moment let's put those out of the way because we have the bullion bar so I've got the bullion bar here in chocolate and this is just uh, a little bar and it's got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 little squares in and that will make a lovely little bullion bar so let's remelt this tempered chocolate because it's got a bit, a bit thick there I'll get myself a piping bag because as I said if I'm doing the intricate moulds like this I do like to use the piping bag so that I can get into Chocolate yeah, milk. yeah, it's only been it's only been in ten seconds. Not quite. No, not? Nope. Oh, maybe not that quite. Maybe that microwave loads stronger. Yeah, not quite. It was quite set around the sides. Right, let's try that one now. Here we go. So you can see it's still set there but if you give it a good stir and keep using your spatula you can get it off the sides as well and just you can mix all that in so it all melts down together if you still think that that is too um, too thick then you can do it for a few more seconds but that now that um, all the lumps are starting to disperse in there let's pour some into a piping bag so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you and find my scissors so this is the amount I am taking off can you see that yeah so that is the amount that I'm taking off and that has gone out of the way I've got it off the scissors 
and it's gone into a piece of paper over there so I have got that's not going to go in any chocolate anywhere and then all I do is straight down around I'm just making sure it's going up the sides There we go. Then what I will do, just put that there, wipe my hands, give it a little shake, just give it a little little tap on the board just to make sure that all the chocolate has gone in. What I will do is just give that a little bit more there. I want to make sure that I get a perfect bar of chocolate out when we get it out. There we go. So I'm going to put that into the fridge now as well. There's nothing going over the sides. It doesn't matter. If it did, you would just have to... Uh, I'm going to put that on the on the side over here. If you, All you have to do is if it goes... If it goes over the side, just when you bring it out of the bar, you can actually just break it off really easily. But it's nice if you can just make sure it goes in uh, and nice. It comes out with really, really sharp edges on it. It's lovely. Another one we have, which is great, if you're getting into this nice cold weather now and you want him to make milkshakes in that and hot chocolate well sorry hot chocolates for your kiddies for going uh, for for supper time is we do this the large spoon mold and these are great you can then just put these into um, a little cup of milk uh, for them to stir it with and then it's the chocolate will go into their hot chocolate or you can make the hot chocolate and have that as an extra on the side they could even put a little bit of cream on there and they could use a spoon to eat the cream and then put the chocolate in the hot chocolate. We're going to make a couple just so you can see how thick they are when they come out. They're lovely. It's a lovely spoon, this. We do a smaller one, but this one is a... We do a smaller one, which are great for desserts as well. But this is a, this is the larger of the, the spoon moulds we do. Again, just give it a shake. Just getting the last of this chocolate out of here. And because these are thick, I'm just going to put these into the fridge so that I know that they will set in time to show you. There we go. Put those into the fridge. So I'm going to put the milk chocolate to one side now as well. Clean down. Because now I'm going to melt some dark chocolate. Now I don't want to do too much dark chocolate, so I'll just pour it into there a moment. I'm going to weigh this out. Here we go, I'm going to go at 200 and 250 grams of dark chocolate. So for that, I would halve the amount and I would be putting in between five and seven and a half grams of flavour shot. So, Sam, what did you reckon? Did you reckon the mint or the orange? What did you want to go I with? I reckon the mint. The mint? Um, there's a few people say, no, I reckoned orange. A few people said mint. Well, tell you what, a few people said mint. Let's go with the mint then. Because there's nothing better is it, than dark chocolate with mint. Mm. And these were really good. So I am going to, because I said that the mint is strong, I am only going to weigh out five grams of mint. How much because chocolate have you put in? 250 grams. Right. Because we would say it was 10 grams to 500 grams of chocolate. So I've got 250 grams of chocolate there. I'm going to do 5 grams of mints. Only because I don't want it to be like, too overpowering. So 
until well I'm just, what am I gonna do with that straight away? Let's get the, let's get the chocolate melted first, eh? Here we go, and then let's measure out. Oh, you can smell it. Smell that mint as you undo the packet. So I've got five. Just, so it's going to get six there. So I'm just going to take a bit out. Could you just move a little bit? That yeah, way I will just take it. I'm just taking a tidgy bit, a bit, bit out there. So I've just got now dead on five grams. I'm just reminding people of what the offer is actually Oh, I'm sorry. On. Yeah, oh, I'm going the wrong way again, aren't I? <laughs> uh, so it's only on our, our S&C tempered chocolate. It's on all varieties of the one kilo bag. So it's on white, it's on dark, and it's on milk. There we go. Look at that. I've and even got the, I've got the hand right now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's £2 off a one kilo bag, bringing it down to eight ninety nine. Again, this is... Um, I'm not, I can't think how long, this, this offer is only on until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. So if you want to get in, then get after the live, get your ordering done because that's a whole £2 off a kilo bag. It's a brilliant saving that. As you can tell that it started to melt there but it's still not enough, it's still quite lumpy. So we'll do another 30 seconds in there. And I do know I'm not going to weigh any more mint out. I am only going to use five grams of mint because it really is a lovely, strong flavour, this one. Can you imagine making those gorgeous mint thins at Christmas and things like that? Oh, my taste buds are going already. Drop some rubbish away. So let's give this a good stir now. That's melted down quite well. You know what I've not done today, Simon? I've not done my signature bit. What's that? I'll show you in a minute. Oh. <laughs> You can, can you now. can. Look, how smooth is this chocolate? I'm coming away from the camera there because I thought I was going to touch Simon's camera there and he would have been not very happy seeing dark chocolate over his camera lens. So no. look, how lovely and smooth is that? Let's tip the five grams of flavour shot in there. Yes, I'm very much looking forward to Saturday. <laughs> he certainly is. He's uh, been yes. chatting about it all day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's very excited about Saturday. He won't tell us what he's doing, but he's looking forward to it. So all you ladies and gents who are coming to Saturday, apparently you're in for a treat, but I don't know what it is. But it's something Halloween-y, he said. And that's as far as he'd go. Yes. I won't tell you what I'm wearing. Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. We've got some lovely, gorgeous mint chocolate there. So I will just do my obligatory... Mm-mm-mm. That... Ooh. That um, five grams is enough you will not want to put any more than five grams in 250 grams of chocolate so 10 grams to your 500 grams you will find that more than enough now if you don't like anything too minty then i would start off at probably about seven or eight grams in your chocolate and taste it in case you don't want any if you just want a hint of mint that is gorgeous that is a proper mint chocolate so let's do i tell you what um now I'm just going to do some, I'll just do some gravestones, or, because I want to do these in milk chocolate, in fact in what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to do these Christmas ones, simple reason, you'll see the shine, the shine will absolutely glow up on this chocolate, it, it shines on all the chocolates, you'll see with the other bars in a moment, but I'd like to see the perfect shine 
on these. So again, let's use a piping bag. Just because I want to have more control going into the chocolate going into the mould. And again, I only want to take off. I'm only going to take off. That's where. That's where the piping bag starts. That's where the first hole is, just about there. So that's where I'm going to take it off because I just want to have enough control. So I'm taking that off. So that's the first bit where the hole started. And we're going to make these as solid chocolate. So we're just going to do one of each so that I've got enough chocolate. Again, when you've done it, give it a whittle so it goes in. Was that a whittle? It was a whittle at the moment because I'm going to get another better whittle in, whittle in a minute. Only because I want to fill the tree up as well while it's in my hand. I've got visions of me shaking that and then shaking the bag everywhere. See, a little tap like that. Just so you're getting into. Just get that little bit out there. I can hear you. Let's try and be smart. So there you go, I've done that. So then everything is filled up there and I'm gonna put those in the fridge to set and then you can see how gorgeous and shiny they are when they come out. That then you could decorate those if you wanted to with sprinkles or with royal icing or you could paint them with cocoa butter. The cocoa butter paint, that's, it. that's great, that the sugar flare cocoa butter paint or even melt some cocoa butter down and then you can uh, color it with your, with your um, color mill. Run out of room, Simon. Don't know what to suggest then. <laughs> Let's see. Let's take a gander. Yeah, they should be ready now. I can hear them already coming away from the. Um, yeah. Coming away from the mould. You can hear them because it makes like a lovely little cracking sound, and you can tell with the. I don't know if you can see there. Can you see that, that the shadows there? That's where the chocolate's coming away from the mould already. So you just want to take the top lid off, then over, and then just gently again, just gently. There you go. And look how easy they were to get out. And I've just got the senses to get out now, so I just want to make sure I've got no chocolate on me. And then what I want to do is, what I, I usually do is, I usually put cotton gloves on when I'm dealing with chocolate, when I'm getting it out of the moulds especially, because I don't want finger marks on, because if I'm, if I'm dusting and you've got your finger marks on there with your hot hands, you'll find that the dust picks up your finger marks as well. There is a way of getting rid of that, is if you've got some gloves on or you can put some gloves on, you actually can rub over the chocolate with a clean glove and then you can re-dust it and it takes the finger mark off it. See how long I've had these now, the holy joes, aren't they? So I've got my gloves on. Then all I'm going to do now is gently, I don't, I'm um, taking the mould away, but if I can, I'm breaking off just the edge there, where you see, just where the edge was, very carefully peeling it out. Because if I've got any edges like that that's there, can you see that that's there? What I'm going to do, oops, a daisy. What I'm going to do, I'll just point it that way. Oh, that's a good. I can point it that way like that. Oh, what you I can, want the overhead now. What I can do with that is when I come to melt it down to stick together, that will disappear because I'll have it flat on the plate, and I'll show you in time to put the heads together. So again, with this one, we can see how much extra chocolate is in there. Look at that. 
absolutely perfect. So with this extra chocolate, take it off the mould. Get your white chocolate bowl back in. And you would use that again. You don't have to throw it away. It's there. So I have got my lovely mould together. Um, what I'm going to try now... I'm going to do it on a cloth though. I'm not as brave as Claire. So I've got my cloth and then Claire just, I mean usually I heat up, I do heat up my... Claire um, had it on a cloth. Did she have it on a cloth? Right, I, I do heat up the uh, microwave plate sometimes but you can also do this with a tin, heat a tin up and like Simon said, if you wanted to, you actually could um, put it on a bit of a stand and put a candle, a tea light underneath it, like you do with cocoa butter. I think you're going to need to break that big bit off. It's going to, it's going to melt unevenly. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's, it's, it's holding the side up, so it's going to... Have every faith, Simon. I'm going to go back to it. Have every faith. Have every faith. You'll have a gap at the back. No, I won't. No, I won't. <laughs> He's now taking bets on it. <laughs> so I'm going to leave this here because I'm actually going to put the microwave plate on it. I, I like working with the microwave plate, I must admit, because I love the, the, the glass and I can then get it all nice and smooth. But that is only a, it's only a t tidgy bit. It's done it now. Well, it's, it's, it's the tiniest bit. Well, it is. You don't, if, you, if you're unsure about breaking it up, don't break it off in case you break uh, part of your skull away. Because it does melt down and it melts down nice and flat because you get both of them nice and flat and put them together. See, Simon knows about cameras. What are you doing? I thought you were doing using the hot plate. I decided not to. Oh, are you just going to... I'm going back to my normal way. Oh. The way everyone knows that I do it. So I've got my nice warm plate here. This is better. Here we go, on there, then I put both of them together, bring it over there, and I'm just going to do that, so I'm melting them both down and making sure, yeah, they're both absolutely perfect on there, there is no gaps, and then straight together, straight together, like that. And just wiping down the joint. And there we have a beautiful. I don't know where. <laughs> Stay still. I am doing a beautiful Halloween mold. Look at that skull. And that chocolate has um, set already going together. So what I'm going to do now is let's give him a dust while we're here. How good is that? So I'm going to put my plate back in there because I need that to melt and you get to warm up again when I want to um, do my coffin in a moment. Let's get some nice kitchen roll onto there. Doesn't matter if dust goes on your pink board, you all know that if you can't get it off with a nice um, warm cloth, you can actually trex your board and treat it and then a nice damp cloth will take everything off and it leaves your board looking like brand new. So, what colour shall we do him? I think he's going to have to be quite a bold colour. Would you reckon a silver, Simon? A nice silver one? Without, because I know Claire did. I don't want to copy Claire because Claire did her gorgeous. Um, yeah, you don't, you, we're not using no. the, um, the sparkles. No, we're not using the sparkles today. So what I'll do is I'm going to use, I can either use a silver or I could go um, ruby rose or copper or gold. What do you reckon? Copper. Copper. Ruby Rose, then, if you, if you... No, I've got copper now. Okay. You had to wait, didn't you? You had to wait until I nearly didn't have it. Purple Haze. Not on I'm white chocolate. No, no, I wouldn't do it on white chocolate. No, the purple haze and that, I'll, I'll love it on the darker chocolate. It just doesn't seem to... Uh, the, the lighter colours don't seem to pick up on white chocolate. They really are excellent on the black chocolate and on the milk chocolate, um, the lighter colours, but they just give a bit of a hint... Which I will show you on one of the on one of the uh, skeletons. I'll put purple haze on one of the skeletons for you. Oh, no. What? 
Later. Later, yeah, not yet, not when I'm when I'm when I'm dusting them. Okay. So here we go. Try and keep that where it is. Now. I am exactly here. I am not moving my hands. And just keep taking the dust off the kitchen towel. I'm just making sure it's it's all covered because then I give it a final a final buff and it brings it up to a gorgeous shine. So this is why I wear gloves so that I'm not taking any of the dust. Yeah, it would stick to your fingers, wouldn't yeah. it? And you get finger marks all over it. So then I've got no, I'm just giving it a, a final buff with this brush and look. Excellent. Wait a minute, hang on. Get in your get in your mouth. There you go, that's fine. Look at that shine on that. Fantastic. How good does that look? Is that the brush we sell? Um we do sell the brushes. We have we have got some other big brushes in stock because we've just got everything that we've always sold, but Carol has got more brushes on the way as well. So I was getting, I didn't like having that hole in my thumb. It was annoying me. <laughs> They're great, these gloves. You can get them, um, Carol said you can, you, we, we got ours off Amazon. I think we have put a link on our Amazon page for them. They're the cotton gloves and you can get them, I think you get them in five pairs, you can get them in uh, six pairs. And uh, they're, they're not very expensive. And all I do is I just wash them on a hot wash and then dry them. I mean, yeah, that's where I've used purple before, but it doesn't matter, they've been washed, they've been boiled washed, and it just dyes the glove, but they're absolutely great for dealing with your chocolate. Right, so I'm gonna put him there just for a moment. And then, what if I do, I'm gonna check now on my skeletons. As you can see it just wipes off there, look at that. Just wipes off. So I've got my skeletons, just put that down there. And let's just turn these out now. And that's how easy. Once they're dry, they just pop out like that. And because I didn't go over the edges, I have got nice clean edges on the skeletons there. So as someone was asking, I'm gonna keep one white. We definitely need one white because I need that for my coffin. So then I can dust these three up. Now someone mentioned purple haze, did they? Someone mentioned purple haze, someone else mentioned regal purple. Purple haze, <coughs> regal purple. One more colour. Should I show a gold on? Gold. Let's yeah. do a gold then. Yeah. In fact, let's do a, a deep, let's do um, a deep rich gold. How do you make black coloured chocolate? You, you add black colour mill. I was going to say that. Ah well, I got in before you. <laughs> you just add black colour mill and it makes a lovely... Easier if you start from dark chocolate. Yes, you must use black chocolate. It's, it, you use black chocolate, it's easier. Because then look, Claire did these last week. And look at these. That was adding some black colour mill. And we've got the bats the cat, the gravestone, and I did have, I thought I had, it's been eaten. <sighs> we know who was in here before, <laughs> my bat's gone. It's enough. <laughs> it flew off, it flew the coop. So, but the, if you put black colour mill into, uh, into dark chocolate, you get an absolute gorgeous jet black chocolate if that's what you're looking for, for making witches hats and things like that. Absolutely amazing. And we flavoured this one as well. I think we flavoured this one in chocolate orange. <laughs> so how good is that? 
So let's have a look. Where were we? Purple Haze. I'm going to do I'm just going to use, because they're only small, I'm just going to use a little, little, little brush. And what I will do if, so that's the purple haze on the white chocolate. Just bear with me a second while I just see if this is set. Uh... And my bullion bar of chocolate. Is set. Can you see the shine on that chocolate there? When I did that with the, see that shine? Wow. And that's how shiny the tempered chocolate goes. Isn't that gorgeous? So what I've done is I've done purple haze on this little skeleton here. So then let's do a third on the dark chocolate of purple haze. Just so you can see the difference on the milk chocolate as well as the white chocolate. So then I'm going to Regal Purple. Just bring, bring it in a little bit. I, I will. Bring him this way. Is that alright? Yeah. There we go. So this is the Regal Purple on the white chocolate. And then I'm just going to do a little bit Just get rid of that dusty bit there Just so that I know that the gold's going on next There we go Let's See if I can get that in there like that And then the last one I've got here is the Deep Rich Gold. Got a clean brush for that one. Yep. So Deep Rich Gold. Can you see that all right, Sam, in there? Yep. Yeah. So this is the Deep Rich Gold on the white chocolate. There you go. And then on this last little bit here, Give him a brush. There we go. So there we go. I've got I'm gonna bring this down here now. So there you have it. You've got okay. purple haze. You've got oh. you've got purple haze there, purple haze is there on that one. Then you've got regal purple, which is there on that one, and then you've got the deep rich gold, which is there and there on the milk. And that's the difference between the milk and the uh, the white chocolate. They just come up slightly different shades, but they're still beautiful, but just come up lovely different shades. So you can still um, wonder dust your white chocolate beautifully. So then onto there. Let's get them three away. Bit of a brush down now, because I want to see if the coffin's ready. Right, my coffin's 
range ready and so are my lovely spoons. So look at the shine on those spoons if you was going to be putting those into a lovely hot chocolate drink or you could serve them with some ice cream. How good would the children love that if you served ice cream with a little spoon like that that they could actually eat the spoon after they finished their ice cream? Absolutely. They're nice and thick so it's their, um, they can get eating with that and then they can chomp the spoon. But look at the shine on that tempered chocolate. So I'm not going to dust those. I'm going to leave those lovely like that. Very nice though. They're lovely, aren't they, those? Mm. So then we've got the coffin. An extra bit of chocolate on there, where did that come from? Don't want to know, does it? Oh, it's no. inside the coffin. It's inside the coffin. So he will straighten down in a moment on top of the, he said I've got that extra bit of chocolate there, but I will get rid of that in a moment because I was going to be, I'll be melting down the top bit there. In fact, what you can do is you can get a little pallet knife. You don't need to, that will just melt straight off. Or melt straight on. It'll melt straight onto the, onto the, onto the, uh, the plate. Yeah. There we go. Just take some of it off, just so that you're not melting and melting and melting. Put that back in the bowl. I've got my lovely lid. So, let's get these over there. Just melt, just, I'm just warming my lid up again now. You see what I mean about here? Look at him on there. Ooh, wow. <laughs> so you can put your little skeleton in there over that indentation. And he's in there. You could add a you could add a gloom in there, or you actually could leave him free if you wanted to, because you could have him as though he was escaping as well if you wanted to. Here we go, just waiting just for that. Just I only heat the hot plate up for a minute, just waiting for that to heat up. I'm going to take him off for a moment just while I put this piece on. So don't forget about our great offers we have on tonight. We're giving you free sprinkles, either a medium bag or a large bag with orders over £40 and for orders under £40 you'll get a free bag of 100 grams of our confetti sprinkles and that's until stocks last. And then we have our flavour shot offer on tonight which is £19.99 with free UK shipping for nine flavour shots, all the flavour shots. But if you buy it and put Karen Griffiths live in the comments box... No, you move that way. If you put, <laughs> and you put Karen Griffiths Live in the comment box, we'll throw you an extra bag of flavour shots. So you'll get 10 flavour shots for the price of nine. And remember, it's free UK shipping. And then on the tempered chocolate, we have got an offer on. We have knocked two pound a bag off the one kilo S&C tempered chocolate. It should have been ten ninety nine. It's now eight ninety nine. So get it while the going's good, because these two offers of the flavour shots and the tempered chocolate ends by seven a.m. tomorrow. Because once the girls have printed the orders off in the office, the offer is finished. But the offer on the sprinkles is on until stocks run out. So I'm going to melt that one down so it's nice and. Even. 
there we go I can see that's absolutely great doesn't matter if a bit of white's going in there because you're sealing it and then I'm going to melt that bit down now I knew I had to just mess around with the end bit there so I want to wait until I actually see all the ends of the coffin each side of the coffin I want that onto the uh, onto the glass so that I know it's even and I can see now that 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 little bit that was stuck underneath has now melted off and we're going to stick those straight together so they are stuck wipe it round and then let's leave him there we'll leave him free because then when you put your lid on looks like you've got your you can either have your lid on fully like that if you wanted to or if you were displaying it you could have it like that and you could have him, him trying to escape but I think he looks great and he looks like he's trying to escape and he looks like he's just left his mark in there he's trying to escape and you've got the coffin lid that's just fell off and he's off for Halloween now he's on his way so let's dust this coffin up I'm gonna leave him nice and white brush this chocolate away here and then I fancy doing the inside in gold and I fancy doing it like a bit of a a bit of a, a bronze is this the one that I used before yes this is what I had the copper before and there's still some left on the brush well look at that if you just use that you're just using the bits that were on the brush and it brings up a lovely antique effect But in the inside, leaving that all like that. So I'm, I, I'm not even going to tip any more dust out. I've just used what's on the brush. Even to the side bits there. Just getting around the side of the coffin. Because the inside, I'm going to get my other little brush. realise where the frozen blue had gone. Should be blue, it's in that tub there. So then I'm going to get a little brush now and I'm going to just brush that with sparkling gold. I love the sparkling gold. And there's nothing better than it all being very plush on the inside. So it doesn't matter if I get the coffin indentation because that's where he's been lay and he's just uh, he's gone into his, his he's gone into his nice gold velvet lining there. see him there so that's a nice plush lining I've done a gorgeous um, copper on the outside but it was only the remnants of what was on my brush so then where's my little skeleton gone he's coming back into his into his coffin look what do you think do you think of that coffin one so what I'm going to do now is I've just got something else in the fridge to get out so I'll move that over there Sam would you be able to pass me um, something I can put all these chocolates on please yeah, that'll, that'll do, something like that, just so I can put the chocolates that... Yeah, that'll be lovely. So, what I'm going to do now is... Give that a quick wipe like that, there we go. Nice turntable, I'll put that there for a moment. So, let's put the coffin on there with his lordship. Put the skull there, to be or not to be. That is the question. Simon's going, oh no, is it time to go home yet? Oh, have you? Then we've got our lovely 
effects. What I'll do there is I've done those in the three colours and that's the three colours underneath. So you can see those like that. And then these, are what I was saying to you before, is the polycarbonate mould. It's the Christmas decorations. Just... Is Santa... Let me get the... Yeah. Come on, you know you want to come out. And that's but, just dark, dark chocolate. That's just isn't? that's just dark chocolate. That you've not got any black in it. No, I haven't. Very dark. Isn't it's it dark? It's very dark on the screen. Yes, it is dark, and I put no black in that whatsoever. That was just our dark chocolate, and that's how dark it is. But look at that shine. I'm just waiting for Father Christmas to come out. He wants to come out. It's too early for him to come out. <laughs> come on. Here he goes. There he is. And then I had my two lovely dessert spoons there. Oops, a daisy. So, what do you think of our tempered chocolate, our flavour shots? And our lovely moulds. Turn it all on its own, and you think it was mm. remote control, wouldn't you? <laughs> Do you want a front shot as well, just oh. think? Okay, that one. Yeah, look at that. So you've got, I love it now we've put the white skeleton inside there. So he's got the white skeleton inside there. So I've left him loose because kiddies love finding extra chocolate in there with his lid. And then you've got your Christmas chocolate there. Now you can do these in white and you can do them in milk chocolate as well. And how good, because the shine will be like that as well on the milk chocolate and the white chocolate. And how good are those if you wanted to do some cocoa butter painting as well on to bring out the detail or you could royal ice. Then you've got your dessert spoons there, which would be great for hot chocolate. You've got your bullion bar there, which I have painted, I've dusted in purple haze there. We've done regal purple there and deep rich gold there to match the three skeletons. And then the piece de resistance is this. When I get to him. What? My skull. Oh. My skull. Ten. Look. There he is. The piece de la resistance. Look at him. He is absolutely super. And how good will that look on top of a Halloween cake? And you could have all little Halloween bats and cats and, and skeletons all around the side of your cake and have him and the coffin on the top. What do you think, Simon? Very nice. You like that? Yeah. So I'm trying to think. Um, I've told you all the offers that are on. Um, I've shown you Claire's cake that was uh, done on the class today. Uh, Carol is getting all the sphere moulds in. The sphere moulds that Claire used today are on the way, ladies and gentlemen. Um, they're, they're, Carol doesn't know when they're arriving, but they have been dispatched and they are on the way. We've got a lot of those coming in. We're also ordering the uh, small popsicle moulds. Um, I'll show you these here. Whoa, 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 whoa. So these are the sort of things that were used on the cake tower. We've made lots of meringues. We've made lots of spheres. This was some rattles made and everything. So people are going to be starting making these. These little bear moulds. We've got a little bear mould. We've got little uh, popsicles there. And look at these meringue feet. This is what Claire teaches you how to do. How to make these feet without using a mould. How? I'm going to show you. Look at the pair of this. Get that one and that one. That's the wrong foot. I'm going. I'm there. Look at them. Look at them. I've got a little pair of feet. How good are those? And Claire did them all in the salted caramel, whipping it up. So that's something we will be uh, showing you the whipping it up and the salted caramel. But if you want to learn how to make these feet and all these other great things, then you're going to have to sign on to Claire Corbett's um, baby treat tower class, which is absolutely super. And as I said before, if you sign on to one class for £30, then you get the other four treat classes for £15 each. It's an absolute steal. 
it's great you'd get the um the five the five classes would be ninety pound. How good is that for five classes? Absolutely amazing. So I do hope you've enjoyed this live tonight. Um, next week I'm back. I'll be baking next week. So I'll be doing some baking next week with you. I'm not too sure what I'm doing yet, but it'll be something very, very nice. So I'll be back next week. Um, Laura's on tomorrow night. Are you here, Simon, or is no, it one I'm of the not girls? Here. It's, it's um... One of the girls. Terry, I think. Is it Terry? Think so Terry. Terry's here and Carol's here tomorrow night as well. And then don't forget we've got the lovely Demo Day on Saturday. Demo Day Saturday. Demo Day so Saturday with the lovely Simon. And the <laughs> gorgeous Claire Corbett, obviously. <laughs> Claire's just taking Simon along for the ride. So you don't want to tell us what you're doing yet. It's going to be a nice surprise and they can't wait to see all of you down there. They're looking so forward to meeting you all. It is a Halloween special. Yeah, they're so. looking forward to meeting you all. And then we're back on Monday with Jerry in the kitchen. Jerry's doing that amazing, if people have just signed in late to us here, look at this class that Jerry's doing on Monday. It's the juice box, which can be converted. She will show you how to convert it into a wine box or an apple juice box or an orange juice box. She just did a blackcurrant juice box because that's what her children were loving at the time. But you can convert that. And it's one that you put a straw in and you can drink out of it. There is drink inside that cake. I think she's going to do it so that if you have wine in it, you'll be able to have a tap on it. Imagine that. How good will that be? So that is a, a drink within a cake. I mean, what more can you have it? Have your cake and eat it and drink it. I mean, absolutely amazing. And that's only £30. And Jerry does some absolutely amazing classes, as you always know. So please, please, if you can support her, please sign on to this uh, class on Monday. I'll be here again on comments. Um, but what a brilliant thing to take to a party, isn't it? It is. A box of wine and a cake, all yeah. in one. <laughs> and it's just that. And imagine that, if you, even if you did it for a child, and you were doing a child with no, a juice. No, not for, no, 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 not wine. wine. I said a juice box. For, if you were okay. doing a juice box for a child, and you actually gave them the, the straws there, you went, well, go on, you can have a drink. And they go, what? So you can have a drink. And imagine the, the picture on their face of actually knowing that they're getting some juice out of the cake, and then they get a slice of cake to eat as well. So please, 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 if you can get on this class, as Carol has said in the past, if there's a few classes you want to do, then she is allowing you to club all of them together, contact the girls in the office, and they will sort a payment plan out for you. Carol said you can do it over three months. At a stretch, she'll let you go to four months. So you could put a few classes together and then sort out what you could pay monthly. You could pay for them over four months. And you could do those classes and have a real fun time, especially with all the party seasons starting again and everything coming up. Imagine turning up at Christmas with a juice box cake or a wine box cake. New Year's Eve, I mean. <laughs> they say, what you're bringing, you go cake and wine. They think you're being really generous. So if you can, that would be absolutely great. So thank you so much for joining us tonight. It's been an absolute blast with you all. It's been great. Simon, thank you. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. I spent the whole day with you, but thank you. I think he's had enough of me now. <laughs> <laughs> so anybody who's going on Saturday, have a fabulous day, won't you? Have a wonderful weekend and I'll be back with you on Monday for... And I'll be back on Saturday for those people. For the, the lucky few. For the lucky few. I'm back the, on the Monday. The lucky few who are Jer there. With Jerry's this. comments. <laughs> he's seen it. He's going to be so big-headed next week. He's not going to get his head through the door, is he? Because Why? he's met all his fan club. All his fan club will have met him. Oh, well, well, <laughs> apart from the ones with bringing scissors. <laughs> yeah, he said, anybody with scissors, you keep stay, will you stay away from his beard? <laughs> he's got his minders with him. <laughs> so thanks very much. Thank you so much for joining us. And I'll see you again next week. Thank you. Bye now. Thank you.